Hello everybody, it's Ms. Morgan at the Romeoville branch of the White Oak Library District and today we're gonna to be making an autumn whirly gig. Isn't that really cool? So to make that, you're gonna need a paper plate, some colored paper. Uh, I'm using red, yellow, and orange because I want those like autumn colors for the leaves but you can really use whatever colors that you want. Um, and then you want some brown paint and painting supplies or if you have a brown colored pencil or marker or again really any color that you want to make it, you can use that. Um, you're going to need a hole puncher, some glue, some scissors, um, a dark marker, you can use like a dark blue or a black or a dark green, whatever you, uh, color you want to use, and then some string. All right, so to start off with, the first thing you would actually do is paint or color the paper plate. So like I said, I used a brown for mine, um, but you can really do whatever color. I use the brown because again, I think it's just a very autumn color. Uh, I'm not gonna take the time to paint it right now though because that would take a really long time. So once you have your colored paper plate, um, you can pause the video and color it real quick if you want to do that. You're going to take your scissors, and you might want to have an adult do this. You're going to take your scissors and you're going to cut a spiral into the paper plate, okay? So we're going to start. So you're going to cut around, but you want to keep going gradually closer to the center as you do. And you're gonna leave just a little kind of circle right there in the center. So then it'll hang like this. All right, and then the next thing you're gonna do is we're gonna make our leaves. So I've got a whole bunch of leaves that I already prepared here, but I'll kind of show you how I did them. So you're gonna take your colored paper, I've got a couple squares already cut out, and you're just gonna kind of cut out the shape of the leaves from here. Again, you might wanna have an adult do this. So I did two basic shapes, uh, one where I kind of just went around like this and then you flip it over and you kind of do the same shape on the other side you want to meet at the end there so we did that for that leaf and then the other one is a little bit more difficult but you just kind of go up and then to the side you want to make a few kind of bumps sort of to make the shape And then I actually found it easier to flip it over and do the same thing on the other side rather than try to go down on the other side. All right, so then you're gonna have one look like this. And then for all of the leaves that you've done, you're gonna take your dark marker and we're just gonna kind of make the lines on the leaf, all right? So you wanna do like a long one down the center and then some smaller ones coming off that center line. So it kind of looks like, uh, like that. And then you'll do that for each leaf that you make. And then you get that one. All right, so once you've got all your leaves, you're gonna take them and, and remember this is, uh, this should be colored now, but you're gonna take your leaves and you're gonna glue them around the spiral. So you're gonna take your glue, put some on the leaf, and then kinda put it around the spiral, just like that. So eventually, you're gonna hold it and the leaves are gonna go all the way around. And then the very last step is you're gonna take your hole punch. If you don't have a hole punch, but you have like a sharp pencil, or even if you wanna use your scissors, if you do that again, you might wanna have an adult do that. Um, whatever you can use, whatever you've got around, and you're gonna go right there into the center and you're gonna just punch a hole right there. And then that is where we're gonna attach our string. So you're gonna put the string through and just tie it however works best for you. I like to do a double knot just to really make sure that it stays. And then you've got it hanging like that. And then if it's all colored and you've added all your leaves, it should look something like that. 
and you can hang it outside and watch it twirl in the wind. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this craft and we'll see y'all next time, bye.